Hello and welcome to the University of Texas at Austin. This video tutorial is a chemistry refresher given to you by the College of Natural Sciences to help you prepare for your upcoming fall general chemistry classes and summer Alex program. We're going to be working through this problem and it's a complicated one and we're going to work through it quickly so if at any time you feel lost or confused you should view our extended versions where we break it down and explain the pieces more thoroughly. But let's just get started. Here we're asked to find the molarity of a salt that results from the addition of 0.48 grams lithium hydroxide with 50 milliliters of 0.5 molar hydrobromic acid. Then you're asked to find the percent yield of 1.3 grams of salt that is formed. So the first thing we need to do is write a balanced chemical reaction and you should recognize that lithium hydroxide is a strong base and hydrobromic acid is a strong acid and these will react together completely to form water and our salt lithium bromide and the next thing you want to do is make sure the reaction is balanced and indeed it is and so we can move forward the next thing you want to do is find the molar quantities of your reactants so that you can identify which one is your limiting reactant since that's going to determine the amount of product formed. So let's just convert the quantities that they gave us to moles. And so we were given grams of lithium hydroxide. If we divide by the molecular weight of lithium hydroxide, which is 23.94834 grams, it's a long number, then you find that you have 0 0.020 moles of lithium hydroxide. For hydrobromic acid, we were given that we had 0 0.5 molar and we had 50 milliliters of it, which is 0 0.050 liters. And so we have 0 0.025, 0 0.025 moles of HBr and so those that's how much reactants we have let's set up our rice equation and so we have it re written here rice is our reaction I is our initial amount of our reactants um, not applicable here and we don't have any lithium bromide our change so that's going to depend on our limiting reactant and since these are one-to-one, -one, the limiting reactant is the one that we have less of, which is lithium hydroxide. So this is going to disappear completely on the reactant side, and the corresponding amount will form on the product side. And so we can fill in our equilibrium amounts. And so this is how many moles of lithium bromide are formed. We needed to find molarity for part... Oops for part A. So we just take the moles that we found to be our theoretical yield and divide by our volume that was originally given to us. And you find that you have 0 0.40 molar lithium bromide. And that's the answer for part A. For part B, we needed to find the percent yield when 1.3 grams is isolated. Percent yield, remember, is actual yield over theoretical yield times 100%, and this is your percent yield. So, since we found that, based on our limiting reactant, 0 0.02 moles is the most lithium bromide we can expect to form, then we should convert that to moles, or grams, sorry. So multiply by molecular weight which is 86.845 and that gives us 1.737 grams so then just plugging that into our formula here 1.3 grams over 1.737 grams times 100 this gives us 75 percent yield and so you can find molarity and the percent yield of the product in this problem. And you're done.